Hi everybody, welcome to Sitch Classroom and now we are going to get into the LabVIEW tutorials. I have received queries as to how we can index an element in an array and these queries were related to getting the multiple indices of the matching element in an array. So let me just take you through that uh, tutorial. Let's get started. So let me open a new VI. The form window, let me create one array first. And then an element whose indices you need to extract from the array. LabView in inbuilt has the index array function which just gives you the element according to the index and one more search function is there in the lab view search 1d array what this will do is it will get you the first indexed value of the matching element whereas in this case i am going to show you as to how you can extract the indices of all the elements that are matching create a for loop and get the array inside the for loop this shows that indexing has been enabled let the indexing uh, remain enabled now we need to compare the numeric value and the array value so let me get the equal uh, comparison what this is does this does is as and when the array values are getting indexed which means you will have one element by one element of the array getting inside the for loop so this numerical value is being compared to each and every element of the array if these two are equal so let us draw a case structure if these two are equal and then what needs to be done we need to build an array we need to build an array of all the indices of the matching element so the element will be the loop iteration or the index value so let me create an array constant here this is a blank array constant it will be the first element of the array now let me just change this to shift register get the appended array and connect it to the shift register and here create one indicator this is the case if it is a true statement which means if the element what you are searching for in the array matches then we get an array with all the index values of the matching position say what if this is false the blank array has to be given back to the array number 2 array number 2 is our resultant array which has the list of all the indices position index positions of our search element in the array so prior to running it let me include some array values
So I have an array of around nine elements here, and the element which I am going to search here for is the element value number five. So just let me run it. So you can see here that this array two has all the index values of the matching element here. So let us just cross verify. Index number zero has the element five, and element number five reappears again in index number three. Element five. Again appears in index number five of our original array, and again it last appears in index number eight. So that is how you extract the indices of the matching element from an array, or search for an element and return multiple indices in an array. I hope it was useful. Thanks for watching. Take care.